I'm angry about it. I am frustrated by it, and I am heartbroken for them and for their loss. This has been ongoing for quite some time now. And people get low bail, they get out, and they kill people. It's got to stop. Growing pressure to remove Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm, one of the stories that will carry over into the new year. Governor Tony Evers wants voters to decide Chisholm's fate. He said that shortly after he received a formal complaint demanding that he remove the DA after Chisholm's office recommended $1,000 bail for Waukesha Parade tragedy suspect Daryl Brooks. CBS 58's Capitol correspondent Emily Fannin sat down with the governor to talk about what's next. Governor Tony Evers is facing mounting pressure from Republicans to remove Milwaukee District Attorney John Chisholm from office. The governor says he's reviewing a formal complaint seeking to do just that. Evers said he would launch an investigation into the matter, but supports voters deciding Chisholm's fate instead of forcing him out. People have other options other than me kicking somebody out of office. Do you think there's been any red flags in your view that should lead to possibly him stepping down? Well, uh, just what I've seen uh, that, uh, that uh, the, the, the district attorney talked about himself. He said that this, this, this shouldn't have happened this way. They've identified where the problem actually was. And so it's, it's just too early for me to uh, make, a, make a judgment on that. Chisholm's term ends in 2024, and those who filed the complaint say they don't want to wait three years for an election. Under state law, a governor can remove a district attorney for misconduct or inefficiencies in office. Calls for Chisholm's removal comes as Republicans are eager to reform the state's bail system. Certainly focusing on crime and ensuring that we have the resources for public safety is going to be a top priority. Uh, Waukesha was just one example of where we have real problems. The governor says he's open to bail reform, but also wants to support over overwhelmed court systems that are struggling to keep up with caseloads. The court systems have always been underfunded, and if there needs to be some additional resources, that certainly could be one of those areas. In Madison, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.